Hi, I'm Diane from Stopwatch Central. I'm going to talk to you about the Robic SC707W stopwatch today. I'm going to let you see how it works and then come back and talk about its features. So this is the Robic SC707W up close. Right now we're in time of day mode. It shows time, date, and day of the week. If we hit this mode button right here. Now this is an alarm mode. What you could do is set up a daily alarm like 6 o'clock at night for it to beep and you would set that up in this screen. And then the next screen takes us to the stopwatch mode. Now in this mode, we would start and stop on our right and run splits on our left and reset on our left. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And then I'm gonna run a couple of splits. Now as you can see, the lap split time shows at the bottom and the cumulative time shows at the top. So every time you run a split, you're gonna see both the lap split and the cumulative time. This stopwatch has a nice feature where, you know, about seven seconds in, it's going to show a release, there you go. So we didn't have to hit a button, it automatically released after about seven seconds to show the time that was running in the background. Now we'll run a few more splits. Okay, and then we're gonna hit stop. And we're gonna hit this button, which is the recall button. When we hit that, we're gonna be able to go through each of those splits and see them. Remember, this one has 100 lap memory, so we'd be able to go back at least 100 splits and see what our splits are. So as it goes, it goes backwards. So six, five, four, three, two, one. And then when you're all done, you can hit reset at the top here and you're ready to start timing again. And that's how that works. Now we're gonna hit the mode button. Because we did a recall, it's gonna, when we hit the mode button, start us back at that time of day. So we're gonna go back through the alarm and a stopwatch. Then the next mode here is what they call a target time. You could set up five different target times and then see if you could make those target times by using this, this screen. We'll mode over one more time. And right now, right here, we're in countdown. Now it has five separate countdown timers. And these countdown timers, depending upon how you set them up, you can either set just one if you wanted to, or you could set up to five. Now, to set it, you're going to push this button right here and hold it. Now countdown arm, CR, means countdown repeat. If we wanted to change that, we'd use this top right button and it would change to CC, which is countdown count up, or CS, which is countdown stop, but I want to have it in countdown repeat. Now there's a little loop button here. If you wanted it to loop through all the times, you would keep that loop on. If you don't, then you would take it out. We're going to keep it on because we want it to loop. But that's how you would set that up. Then to set up the individual times, you're going to hit the button on the right here, and it will mode you through the different times, and then you simply use the top buttons um, to set how much time you want on it. I already set five seconds on this one. So when we're all done, we hit this button down here at the left again, and it locks in the times. And I'll show you what I've already preset. Um, the third timer has two seconds. Fourth and fifth I have not set. First timer has 17. Second timer has five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back around to the first timer, and I'm going to start it. And you'll be able to see that it's going to cycle through. The bottom number is going to stay the same because it's going to show you the time that you set for it to count down, and this is the countdown timing actually happening. So as we get down to the bottom, you're going to see it's going to cycle through to the next timer. Now it's going for the five seconds. When the five seconds is done, it's going to do the two seconds. And then it rotates back to that 17 seconds because I told it to loop and repeat. So that's how the countdown timer works. It will continue doing that until you hit the stop button like I just did right there. And then you could reset it and start all over again or go back through your timers. The next feature it has is a pacer feature. See it says pace. Now I set it for 60 beats per minute. So that means it's going to beep every second. Just like that. Now that's nice in a situation where maybe you're a runner and you want your, your foot to hit the ground at a certain pace. You would set that pace in here and then you'd be able to hear it beep and know if your foot is hitting that ground in the right pace. So those are the basic features of the Robic SC707. So now that you've seen how it works, let's go through the features of the Robic SC707W. It has a time of day mode, a stopwatch mode that can count one one hundredth of a second up to 16 hours, it has a multi-mode countdown timer that when it's done counting down can either stop, count up, or repeat, depending upon how you set it up. It has five separate countdown timers. It has a pacer, it's water resistant, comes with a one-year warranty, and a breakaway lanyard. 
Now, if you have any other questions about this stopwatch or to place an order, please visit our website at www.stopwatchcentral.com. We hope you enjoyed the video and we would love for you to join our YouTube channel. That way, as these new videos come out about the different stopwatches, you'll be the first one to see it. So please join us. Hope you have a great day.